Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying uh, three of these CPAC uh, seafood meals. These are all pub style, which uh, these were new to us at least. They may, they may be new, they may not be new, I'm not sure. So we have the um, beer battered crab poppers. It's oven crunchy wild caught blue crab, uh, blue crab cheese and jalapeno poppers. So that looks good and it's got tartar sauce. Um, these are the beer battered shrimp, oven crunchy. And these are the beer batter cod, uh, wild caught Pacific cod fillets. So all these you need, we're going to do these in the oven. So they were all $4.99 a box at Myers where we got them at. Um, they're all baked at $4.25, so that's good. But they're all different times. So the beer batter cod, see if we can see that. It is, um, you put them on a single layer, which is all of them. This one bakes from 17 to 18 minutes. It says for the whole thing, but but we'll see and because i'm not going to bake the whole box the um beer batter crab poppers is for um, nine to ten minutes and you can also use a toaster oven if you want and then the beer battered shrimp is um, 15 to 16 minutes and you turn these over halfway and i'm pretty sure you turn pretty sure you turn all these over halfway yeah turn those over halfway and turn those over halfway so I'm going to wait for my oven to preheat and um, I'll show you when I get these out on the pan, but they're going to be at different times. So I'm, I'll probably just show you when I get done, honestly. So when they all come out, I'll just show you what they look like when they, when they come out of the oven. Okay. I was getting my pan ready and I forgot to mention that I didn't mention calories on these. So the beer battered cod, um, two pieces is 320 calories. And then the beer battered shrimp, uh, four pieces is four pieces, 210 calories. And then the beer battered crab poppers, um, five pieces is 260 calories. Then if you use the two tablespoons of the, the sauce is another 70 calories. So, okay, they're almost done. They're getting there. So they, they probably have about five minutes left, but this is the, uh, tartar sauce from the beer batter crab poppers and it is in one big packet so if you're not making the whole box you're kind of uh, out of luck so what you do is you put this in a in a bowl or a cup of, of warm water and it thaws it out it's kind of soft now but it'll warm it up a little bit and thaw it out so i'm gonna i guess i'm just gonna put the whole pack in there and then uh, basically just throw the rest of it away and use my own tartar sauce for the rest of them so so anyway i'm gonna get that in hot water all right this is them out of the oven here is the uh, beer battered cod right here here is the beer battered shrimp and here are the three beer battered crab poppers and the tartar sauce made that much tartar sauce still wish it had at least been split up into two packages but but it is what it is so anyway i'm like keeping it in the fridge for um a little while I'll just make sure i don't dip anything into it but i might put it in the fridge for um a day or two to see if i you know if i eat this again so anyway i'm gonna get these on a plate and i'll be back okay i've got my plate of seafood here and i'm probably gonna try the shrimp first just because um they're smaller and uh, I think they'll have they'll cool off the fastest. So they're a pretty good size piece of shrimp. I only made three of them for me since I had so many different ones, but here we go. Here's the inside. Um good, good flavor to it. The um the batter has it's crisp, but it's also got like a, a little bit of a chewiness to it. I don't think it fails. That's good. The beer batter is, um, it's good, but it's not overpowering, which is a good thing. I don't really like, I wouldn't want it to be overpowering, but you can definitely tell that that is a beer batter, um, batter on there. So it's not a, it's not light, but it's not overpowering or strong either, if that makes any sense. It's, it's a good mix. So here's the cod, um, pretty decent the steams coming off there. Um, good and flaky fish, pretty decent size. Um, I think if you had a couple of these, I think it'd be good. Hmm. It smells really good. It's not, um, it's not a super fishy smell, which is a good thing. So there we go. It tastes like the same batter. It has a, um, a good beer flavor, but it's not overpowering. So it's good. The fish is not really strong fish either. That's good. It's a, it's a little dry for me, honestly. I don't know why. 
Oh, let me try a piece of out, kind of out of the middle. No, that was better. It must have just been one piece on the edge that was kind of dry. Um, that's pretty good. It's not, um, it's not the best beer batter cotta I've ever had, but it's good. It's not a bad flavor at all. I think if you dip that in the tar sauce or, sorry, um, if you dip that fish in the tar sauce or you had some, uh, like malt vinegar or something like that, I think that would be really good. Now for the crab poppers. This did come with the tar sauce. I want to try one without the tar sauce first. Um, but it looks like there's plenty of jalapeno in there. I see green all through here. Oh yeah. Can you really see the, the cheese and the jalapeno? Let me dip these in. I'm surprised that these were the ones that came with the tar sauce. Well, it's weird. Hmm. That goes really good together. The beer batter is almost completely wiped away with the jal with that with the jalapeno flavor because the jalapeno does add some spice to it. I mean, there's a little bit of burn there, and the uh, the cheese has a good flavor to it too. Really, don't get the crab meat necessarily, but crab is a pretty light flavor sometimes anyway, and it, and it is in this case too. It's not a really strong flavor. Yeah, tons of cheese in there. I like it without the tar sauce, but I like it better with the tar sauce. And when I said I was going to save this, I'm not. I'm just going to end up, I've got tar sauce in my own. I'll just use that. Um, I think these are my favorite. The, the crab poppers are probably my favorite flavor. I love the jalapeno flavor and you get that tar sauce in there. Get you a big old scoop of it. Those are really good. Those are, I've eaten the three. So probably flavor wise, I like the beer battered um, crab poppers best. Um, next one would probably be the shrimp. Yeah, you know, I like the texture and the flavor of the shrimp. And the fish is just a basic fish. It's not a, you know, an awesome fish is just a regular fish. Hmm. But I like the shrimp too, but by, by, oh, by far, the best ones are the crab poppers because they got the jalapeno in them. Um, if you're looking for fish, I think I would go with like, Walmart sells the, um, the Young's brand. Um, that's really good. I think I would buy that instead. But if you want some spicy, um, crab type fish, um, then I think I would get those this brand because they're really good. So yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching.